Hello and welcome, Greg Bills here, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own ebook cover. Creating your own ebook cover is a great way to jazz up your compelling offer and give it a more professional look. And to do that, we're going to go to myecovermaker.com and you'll find a link to this site right below this video. And you can just click onto it and it'll take you to the page you see before you. And once you're here, all you're going to do is come right here and click start here. And you'll see that they have some free offers that you can use. Now, if you want different offers, they have a lot of different options here. But these are paid options, and it is pretty cheap to do. We'll click back here, and you can see the sign up form right here. It's unlimited downloads for $9.95 a month. And you can sign up right here. But for this example, we're going to use the free. And we're going to go right here. We're just going to use this paperback stack. But you can use any of these free examples that you like. But for this demonstration, we're just going to use the paperback. And then you're going to see right here that they give you uh, some different background images that you can use. You can use any of these that you want, or you can uh, upload your own background image from your computer but for this example we're just going to use what they provide us with and then right here I can crop what I want to show on the cover and right here is what's going to show on the cover what I, whatever I crop is what's going to show on the cover Okay, so it's really simple I just crop what I want to show on the cover and then I come up here, click this crop selection tab, it uploads it to the cover. Okay, and then right here you see some tools. I can insert text. And I'm going to backspace and get rid of this. And I'm going to type in done here you should have a pretty good idea how this works and then you can pick the style of font that you want we're going to go with this right here and you can pick the color click on to it opens up the color box we can move this around to where we want it and that right there looks good now what I would recommend right now is that you see this here in the color box go ahead and write this number down 1522D4 and then click off to the side here and then you can center it or put it to the left or right we're going to go with center and then we're just going to click right here and there's our text. Okay, then we're going to click right on the text and it's going to put it right on our cover for us. We're going to click on that and then we can grab over here and hold and resize this. We can reposition it. And make that a little bit bigger. And then we can come up here, we can insert another text box if we like go up here backspace and get rid of that and tips and tricks what do we want to put in there let's put in and I should have showed you you can change your size here but uh, let's put in by great bills and then right here, we want that to be the same color. So that's why we wrote that down. So we're just going to 
put our cursor there and we're going to backspace and then we're going to type in the color number that we wrote down which is one five. and you'll see that it comes up the same color and that's what we want and then we want to pick the same font or you can change it that's entirely up to you want to make sure it's centered hit this button and click onto that text and then we just drag that we can drag that down to the bottom here and once again we can resize it reposition it and then if we want to come up here and let's say we want to add um, an image they give you some different options here they have stock photos that you can you can upload to your cover to choose from they give you shapes that you can upload graphics that you can upload and abstracts that you can upload okay so let's go back to graphics and let's upload a graphic instant download we do that and we can drag it down here somewhere we can grab a hold here and resize it make it as big as we want we can reposition it and then we can come up here we can click on images again Let's go with the shape this time. We'll grab this. That's a big one. Let's size it down just a little bit. Drag it down here. And this isn't going to be anything pretty, but it'll give you a general idea how this works and how easy it is. If you want to change the color of this, you can come right up here. Click on color you can change the color um, and then just click color right here you'll see that it changed you'll see how this has a, a black tint to it up here I can actually change that by clicking on this I want to change that we'll just change it to yellow probably won't be very pretty but you'll get the idea well I think I should have highlighted that first I'll click on color and there you have it and then if you decide you want to add another text box you can always come up here select text you can get rid of this always make sure you get rid of that I've made that mistake before and left that there it comes up in your final product down here and you can't get rid of that so make sure and let's just put you know, five five day crash course And we'll put free down here because the word free is always good. And then once again, we want to put our cursor there, backspace, and type in the color that we've selected. And the reason I do that is so that I don't have um, different shades of that color. It's hard to, to uh, do that manually to match that up. It always winds up a little different. And then it's centered. Pick the font. And just click right there. It brings it up here. We can put it there. And once again, we can uh, resize it, position it however we want. And then once you're done, once it looks good to you, you like what you see, and if you want to. You know, go back and reproportion things. It's as easy as dragging this right here, each one of them. 
it's there, you can reposition things, you know, make it look better, get it to your liking. And then all you have to do is come up here and hit finalize. And there you have it. Nice looking professional ebook cover for your compelling offer. And then you can drag this to resize it. And I'm going to keep it right there. Click on download 3D. And we're going to download this onto your computer. It's going to be downloaded in a JP image and just hit save. And then if you go to my desktop and open that up, right there you see the image. Now, let's get rid of that. Now that's just how easy it is to create your own ebook cover and if you go to my site at gregbillsmarketingfunnel.com you'll find an article that says how to add image HTML code to widget and this will show you how to how to uh, get a HTML code for that image and it will show you how to load it up in a widget area like I have here. This is an image that I have an HTML code that I've added to a widget box. In this training video, how to add an image HTML code to widget will show you how to do that. And it's just that simple. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been helpful. And I'll see you in the near future.